Well, it may sound nuts, but local researchers are using actual nuts to generate green energy. A team out of the University of Waterloo is creating electricity using discarded walnut shells and drops of water. Let's head over to CTV Spencer Turcott, who stopped by the university today. So Spencer, how did they even discover this was possible? Well, one of the students had a hunch it may be possible after cracking open a hazelnut and rather than seeing the nooks and crannies inside, he saw them as transport methods for energy. You could say University of Waterloo researchers are going nuts for green energy. Cheers. Cheers to the future energy. Inspiration for a new way to harvest it struck during snack time. I was uh, eating hazelnut once uh, in my home, so and I saw the nut structure. Something came in my mind, so we can utilize this nut shell structure to harvest energy. Sounds nutty, right? But where most people see dips and divots inside a nut, Nazmul Hossain saw the complex networks of pores as a travel system for electricity. They sampled many nuts and found they could get the most wattage from walnuts. And the good thing is it's like agricultural waste. So we are just uh, throwing it out. We, we don't utilize it. The discovery comes at a time when industries are struggling to find renewable energy sources. So how does it work? In a nutshell, they use this device known as a water-induced electrical generator. As the water is going through the holes, it generates electricity as we can see in the monitor there. By connecting the device to discarded walnut shells, it uses the water that flows through the nutshell structure and as it moves, it transports electrically charged ions through the wires, which interact with the surface of the shells to create a charge imbalance that generates electricity. So this one currently can easily turn on a calculator. However long it takes for the water to evaporate is how long it can send an electrical current. The team is now looking ahead to see how they can power more devices. I, I hope I can utilize the for even further electronic devices like the smartwatch or more small biomedical devices. We can uh, even wrap it in our hand just uh, behind the smartwatch. So it can be used like hair and it can be banded with the smartwatch. So it seems they've cracked the code using a food that powers our brains to instead power our devices. And the team also tested out wood since it retains water in similar ways, but it seems walnuts are the most efficient and preferred method for future possibilities. Tony. All right, Spencer, thank you very much. CTV's Spencer Turcott with that report.